All right, got a challenge. I've invented a new lift that I think is legit, and I want to issue a challenge to all the strong people in the arm wrestling world to come out and try it. So this is the pronation sledge challenge. This is basically a deadlift for your forearm pronation. What you need is a heavy sledge, Got a 10 pounder here. And if you want to participate in the challenge, you need to make measurements. Uh, these are in increments of a quarter of a foot, so half a foot, uh, three quarters of a foot, foot, etc. You could go by inches, you could go by centimeters, whatever. Just make it standardized, measure it, show proof of your measurements. The grip you need. There needs to be a 90 degree angle for it to count, a 90 degree angle here. Because if you open up this, your wrist and, and dump your riser, it actually shortens the lever arm so you can move more weight with less torque. Um, so you got to make sure you have a 90 degree angle in your wrist and that you have measurements on your hammer. That's all you really need. No wrist, no wrist flexion, straight wrist. Here's the form. Don't be a dummy, do warm ups. I've already warmed up before this. That's why I got all these other hammers out here. Here's the form. You want your hand on your table, on the edge of the table, hammer flat on the table, other end of the handle off the table. And all that matters is that this elbow stays down and you break it loose. Then you post proof of the distance in which you're holding it and the weight in which you lifted. Boom, I've just posted proof of 10 foot pounds of torque. The most that I've seen was on um, Jody Williams' channel. He did it with a flex wrist, but he used a six pound sledge held at the very bottom, which uh, that's somewhere around 15 foot pounds of torque. And so that's the most that I've seen on the internet on the little bit of scouring that I've done. I'm about to attempt 12 and a half foot pounds here. <sighs> Don't have it. Let's go halfway between the foot and the 12 and a half. See if I can do something like 11 foot pounds. That's why the King's Move works, by the way. You see, if I turn this way, you get, I don't know, it's probably not good for the joints, but whatever, this is arm wrestling. Sledge challenge, how many foot pounds of torque can you generate? Put the measurement on your handle, show evidence of the weight, show me what you got. 